Do we have a female who's nine years old who has strabismus? Her eyes cross alternately, and she wears compensatory lenses for farsightedness as well as an astigmatism. She'd had an eye muscle surgery before the age of two. So what's happened from this is her eyes have a misalignment both vertically and outwardly. She's also received vision therapy from another optometrist, and so this involves 60 sessions of vision therapy with no improvement. And at the end of that, another eye muscle surgery was recommended. And of course, the parents were very dissatisfied with the former vision therapy program, and they sought help elsewhere. She'd had significant difficulties academically due to a frequent loss of place when she's reading or writing. In other words, her eyes were failing to coordinate, and her eyes would rapidly alternate between viewing with the left and the right rather than them teaming to work together as a pair. She had great difficulty retaining information, which she seemed to have learned earlier, and the parents feared that their daughter would have to be retained in the third grade due to her struggles. So for the vision therapy program, optometric syntonic th phototherapy was employed, as well as a lot of motor work, which is vision guiding action, and craniosacral therapy was added as well. The vision therapy program did have progress. She, her two eyes were now horizontally aligned about 90% of the time. She had what's called a small vertical deviation, and that was as per this Van Orden star test you can see demonstrated on the right. However, despite the vertical deviation, she was able to read the chart simultaneously with both eyes whenever there was a red and green filter over her glasses. However, despite the simultaneous perception, she failed to appreciate any depth perception, and she was still struggling academically even with this progress. At this point, coma therapy treatments were started, and that was with the Delta 980 nanometer unit. And Neurology 14 was used, and this treatment was slightly modified. Two in-office treatments were done, one per week. And much to the doctor's surprise, after the first coma therapy treatment, the child reportedly yammered on and on to herself and to her mom before being put to bed about a story she'd read to herself that day. Now, our mother was really surprised about this uh, because it was really out of character for her daughter, so much so that she questioned the daughter's teacher the next day as to whether the teacher may have, you know, read the story to her in class or something, but the teacher said, no, I didn't read any story. So from this, the mother concluded the daughter must have read the story to herself. During her next craniosacral therapy visit, the child actually requested a book to read, and this was three days following that first coma treatment. And it has noted here, this had never been done by her because she didn't like to read. And the next office visit following the craniosacral therapy, coma therapy treatment was repeated. And then those Van Orden star patterns I mentioned earlier were also done. At this point, they became almost level. And that was for the first time. And what this means is that vertical misalignment of her eyes was becoming more level and aligned. So even with this, she still didn't exhibit any stereopsis, and that is depth perception of 3D. However, she did exhibit a much better appreciation of depth on the bubble game, and that requires the popping of bubbles in open space with alternating index fingers out in front. So the conclusion for the doctor was, coma therapy seems the most likely reason for the marked improvement in the vertical misalignment, which appears to be significantly improved, as well as the child now enjoying reading, and in conjunction with this, also her ability to retain so much information after reading to herself. All of these were new. And she says this because if you look at it, the therapies prior to coma therapy did not have a significant impact on her academic work. Neither did it correct a misalignment to the degree it was now corrected. And she'd already had 12 craniosacral therapy treatments over 16 weeks, 16 vision therapy sessions in office weekly, as well as assigned home visual procedures for those same 16 weeks. So a one-year follow-up was done in the case, and an additional sensory learning program from another practitioner was completed. And she'd made even more gains with some stereopsis, and that's that 3D depth perception, and a very good alignment of her two eyes. And she's had significant gains in her academic work as well.
So I want to thank you for following along, and I trust this case report summary will be of use to you or someone you know, and a very special thank you to Dr. Van Hoy. Dr. Van Hoy is a neurooptometric rehabilitation specialist with over 40 years of eye care experience. She's the past president of the College of Syntonic Optometry and really a pioneer who goes out of the box in her dedication to serving the visual needs of her patients from infancy into the senior years. She wholeheartedly applies and shares her knowledge so everyone may learn and benefit and enjoy the highest quality of life.